Helen Ward, and Helen Ward came to our attention through John Wilson's incredible write-up, well-deserved, Thank you. in the New York Times. Helen Ward brings swing songs to Marty's. Helen Ward, who sang with Benny Goodman and sang with Harry James and made big, big records. You going to make some new albums soon? or? Uh... I just finished uh, a brand new one. Uh, it should be out about uh, next month. Let me pull a few names out of the air. Can I pull a, get you a spontaneous reaction sure, to sure. people that I love and miss? And if you knew them, maybe. B. Wayne. B. Wayne. Uh, I knew her, but not well. Sang with Larry Clinton. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. uh, we did it in TV show together. That was about it. How about Joe Stafford? Uh, I knew her briefly. All of us were working at the same time, so we didn't have much chance to socialize. And you uh, being the... met them once over lightly. The only lady in a bus traveling with 40 male musicians? Not 40, 14. 14. <laughs> was it fun? Was it fun? Oh, yes, it was. It, it was a lot of hardship. Uh, driving all night after working till 1.30 in the morning, whatever and then uh, trying to get some sleep before the next one-nighter. Uh, but we were also young and didn't mind it at all. Recently, Benny Goodman said to me, my God, if we had to do that today, it would kill both of us. <laughs> ah, you'd love it. I want, I want <laughs> Helen Ward to know that I've chatted here with every big band singer about their pasts. I've chatted here, you know, I've been here for 25 years, uh -huh, yes. with Perry Como, with Bing Crosby, with Frank Sinatra, with Joe Stafford, with everybody, with Anita O'Day, and, uh -huh. but never with Helen Ward, and I'm very, no, very, because I'm a great fan. Thank you, thank you for that. Really? You well, have to come and see me. At Marty's. At Marty's. What's the address? Uh, 3rd Avenue and 73rd. Nice dressing room, nice uh, place. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful. What, what were the hotel rooms or the hotel accommodations like in the old days? Maybe going from city to city. Do you have any any luxurious ones or any kind of they dumpy were ones? All dumps. All dumps. Dirty, dirty, grim, grimy, dirt. It's just awful. Things are looking up now, right? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Opposite Helen Ward is one of the great young stars of Broadway. I got to be the only one in the world who never saw her ain't misbehaving. Yes, you are. I'm going to get yeah. punished for that, right? Yes. <laughs> this is Armelia McQueen. Thank got you. her own. I'm going to say hello to Helen Ward. Hello, Hi. Helen. Say hello to Marilyn Thompson. Hi, hello. How are you? Armelia, a brief. Uh, first, what goes through your mind sitting alongside the lady who must have influenced a hundred thousand young ladies who wanted to be singers with big bands? What goes through your mind alongside Helen Ward? I'd like to know what she thinks of the uh, singers today. Uh, uh, there are some that I really yeah. love and I'll always adore and mm -hmm. idolize Ella Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm. She's my favorite of all time. Mm -hmm. Do you like the, the younger singers that are here now? Some. Some of them. Some, mm -hmm. yeah. Do I don't like, like singing that's uh, gimmicked. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the only word I can find Yeah, that's right, that. gimmicked. I yeah. like the pure voices and the pure singing. Do you think that's going to come back, the pure sound? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. No, everything is such well, a gimmick. You sing, you sing purely. Yes. Certainly you do a beautiful job. Yes, yes. Just wonderful. Uh, but uh, today they do use a lot of gimmicks. And in order to record, uh, they necessarily don't like the pure sound. They use a lot of... Uh, Electronic. Boy, you're a beautiful devices. lady. What a face, right, Helen? No, oh, beautiful. Thank you you <laughs> are a really beautiful lady. Thank you. Well, come and see me. Armelia McQueen. Give me, okay. give us a brief uh, chronology first of Ain't Misbehaving, and then a brief <clears throat> chronology of the life and career well, of Armelia McQueen. Okay, uh, both. Okay, Ain't Misbehaving for me has been wonderful. I spent the last year and a half on Broadway doing it. Were you when it was in, in the road, yeah. in, in the small theater in town here somewhere? Uh, yeah, Manhattan right. Theater Club. Manhattan Theater Club. But it was right. a workshop. Right. And in less than three months, we went straight to Broadway Fabulous. and won all the awards. And the audiences are still coming in. We're still sold out. Oh, yeah. We have a new cast. Uh, myself, I'm the only uh, female original member left, and Ken Page. And we leave soon for California to do it there. And uh, for my act, now I'm doing my nightclub act this Monday and Tuesday. At? At the Edison Hotel, the Savannah Room. I gotta ask you one crazy question. How, sure. do you, how do you look so vibrant? What's? How do you look so alive? Give any, any little tip on nutrition. Can I answer that? Uh, yeah, you answer. You answer. She's young and beautiful. Thank but, you. But Thank so, you. But she, her eyes are dancing, right, oh, Helen? Yeah. What do you, you take vitamins? Or what? Oh yeah, I take vitamins. Really? I don't think that has anything to do with my eyes, though. No. But one must take vitamins. Really? To perform, uh, or either just to live. 
because uh, a lot of our food now lacks the vitamins, you know, so I believe in that. You agree, Miss Ward? I sure do. I sure do. Yeah. You look so good. You look much better than the picture in the, in the New York well, Times, don't you? That's a terrible know? picture. Hmm. It's awful. I was sing rehearsing there, and they must have taken 25 pictures, and look what they printed. Well, they <laughs> always do that. <laughs> but as long as you're in the paper, that's important. That's right. important. That's important. Yeah. Should the Big Band era come back? I won't ask you, will it? Because it can't, I don't think. But you think it should? Would you like to see it well, come back? Well, uh, of course I would. Uh, it's the kind of music I was brought up with and uh, still adore. I still love it. Uh, Every once in a while, we go hear Benny if he's playing a concert or, or whatever. Right. And uh, we try to sort of keep in touch with the old. Right. I want to tell the young Helen Ward and the young Armelia McQueen. I want you to stay with me today and meet a few of my friends, all right? Please. Okay. But, but I, I am. What? I didn't plug my act. You're, you're going to plug everything yet. No. I'm going to ask you about the act. I want okay. you. But I emceed a memory lane night the other night, and I discovered a young lady who stopped the show cold. Goose Pimples, Marilyn Thompson, who mm -hmm. sang. I've got the records here where she sang with the Ronettes and with the Marvelettes, and, uh, and now her own career going. And uh, Marilyn, what do you want to say about Armelia McQueen and about Helen Ward? Then we'll talk about you. Well, first of all, Amelia is doing basically what I first started out to do to begin with, and that's... Um, at Broadway stage, I, I'm basically uh, an actress by heart. When I was a kid, that's what I wanted to do, was to be an actress. Um, I've trained in musical comedy, but my music career has taken me so much away from, from New York and Broadway that the majority of the time when there's something that I fit, I've been committed to some other kind of thing. And um, I'm... I'm I'm just awed at uh, being next to her here, Thank and you. she's doing something that I definitely want. And that's what leaving the whole group thing is all about for me now, so that I can do what I really want to do. And she let me know that that whole road thing has always been the same. <laughs> you were never part of a group like the Mary Max Helen, or no? <laughs> and when you hear some of today's songs. Now, when you were singing, you were singing with those groups to the teenagers. Of, they had pretty heavy emotional songs about uh, the boyfriend gets killed on the motorcycle. Remember those songs? Yeah. And uh, remembering walking in the rain. But today, what I hear today, I turn on the radio, I hear the Kiss, or I hear the, uh, the Rolling Stones, or I hear the Rod Stewart, and they're into very tough stuff now, like physicality. They're, they're beyond emotionalism. They're into, into a sexual trip. Yes. Now, what goes through your mind when you hear some of that rough stuff that they're singing today it's well there's uh, one that really caught me up short uh you ha something about uh, you have a, a beautiful body don't hold it against me or something <laughs> that yeah. did it <laughs> no. uh miss mcqueen your, your your reaction on some of the lyrics some of the things you hear on today's uh, record albums well i think there's a space for everyone because there there certainly is someone who's going to buy it so um but the, I think the, the market is over flooded. Over flooded? Yeah. I really do. Marilyn, today's lyrics, today's songs. Well, I, I agree with Amelia. I, I really feel that um, there, there's music for everybody now, for sure. It's appeasing all kinds of um, uh, latent desires and everything else in people. But I, I lend myself towards, more towards meaningful lyrics. And uh, the pop music is still with a lot of meaningful lyrics that's coming out. I used to sit here with the Supremes every day and they, they would sing Rogers and Hart and stuff like that, right? They didn't mm -hmm. have they didn't have many hostile or many anti uh, songs, did they, the Supremes? I don't think so. No. no. Not no. too many. No. no. I want to hear more about the nightclub act. I want to catch Armelia McQueen. Tell us again. It's Monday night and, and Tuesday, Tuesday at eleven right. at the Savannah Room Hotel Edison. In New York City. At the, New York that, City that's yes. after you finish uh, uh, with Ain't Misbehaving at Night? Yes. Uh, no. Oh. Um, my last show is this Saturday. Oh. I don't know when this is aired. Right. This will okay. be aired on Tuesday, so we still okay. have time. Okay. My last performance is September 8th. That's a lot of uh, Fats Waller, huh? Yeah. Boy. Yeah. 32 songs a night. 32. Oh. Night. Some solos? Oh, there are lots of solos, yes. You're the Squeeze yeah. Me girl, I read. Yeah, right. Is that your big song, Squeeze Me But Don't Tease Me? Or, uh, yeah. That's Squeeze a great me. song. Yeah. It's my uh, baby doll. Song. Thomas Fats yeah. Waller. Yes. One, his son, uh, we met his son the other day, uh, Maurice Waller, and uh, he comes in and sneaks in and watches the show 
quite often mm -hmm. and he still cries every time he you know every time he sees it and the future activities every time i do a nostalgia night or a memory lane night marilyn will you come with me again oh sure I'd marilyn love to. thompson a little more on your life and times a little more of the yeah. life of marilyn thompson well, I, I tell, as I was previously saying, most people know me. I have people who know me as an actress only, and I have people who know me as a singer only. I took seven and a half years out of my singing career to study acting, and I performed here in New York, uh, off-Broadway, um, most of the soap operas. I've got award-winning commercials for TV. Uh, a lot of things I've done, but most people don't put the same... They don't yeah, see it as no. the same person. Can I tell and that's you that what I'm trying to do now. Not only is she a great performer, but she's got a big following. She jammed up uh, that uh, nightclub that night. She's got a big following. Helen, if you hadn't gone into, if you hadn't become involved in this field, because you started to sing probably when you were about 14 or 15 with the bands, right? Nine. Nine. <laughs> with with the bands, right? No. Maybe 14, right? Yeah. What what might you have done if you didn't go into this field? What, uh, I believe it or not, I was fascinated with. Uh, science and I wanted to be a pediatrician of all things but uh, as you know I just got touted off that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it takes you out right? <laughs> yeah. Instead of the road. Yeah. Couldn't quit. Oh. How many years with Benny? How many years with Harry? I was uh, with Benny for two years and uh, with Harry only about six months. Made some great records with Benny. With Benny, yes. You made another album later on with Benny that I play sometimes. I'll never yes. say never again, again. Yes, yes. Uh, we went on tour in 53, and we made this album around that time. Did you retire for a while after, and now you're back, or have you always been singing uh, I, somewhere? Most, mostly, I've retired, and periodically, I just come back and do a little thing here and a little thing there. I love this panel. I could go for a week like this. <laughs> I mean, I... Amelia, you happy? Very. Very like the way the happy. country's going? Not necessarily. If you could have the ear of the President of the United States, if we could get Jimmy Carter here for about 15 minutes and you could have a private audience with him, what would you say about the way he... Uh, <laughs> or should we save that for after the show? <laughs> no. <laughs> tell us now, tell us no, now. No, no, I, I, I talked to him about it. I think things are a little shaky. Right. You know, I, I think uh, the country needs to have a little peace of mind because people seem to be a little crazy right now. They don't know which way things are going. So I think uh, we need that. Somebody has to talk to us, mm -hmm. you know, from the government. Like the old Franklin D. Roosevelt fireside chats, right? right? Something. Well, what? I don't know about that. That's but before still, your time. I don't know, yeah. Helen, what might you say if you had uh, the ear of somebody who makes some laws or some decisions? I make it a policy not to discuss politics <laughs> let ronald reagan be the one let, whatever yes did you make some film shorts with benny goodman any anything on uh not with benny no prior to that though i i made one with will osborne you remember that name fabulous way back he was rudy valley's uh, arch rival they had a big feud going right, with osborne right. and, Ru mm -hmm. and rudy valley mm -hmm. what was your uh, biggest record with benny goodman your biggest 78 well, that's hard to say i think uh, most people were familiar with uh, Goody Goody. Right. Uh, it's been so long. Great news. Possibly Dixieline Band. Do you feel that Peggy Lee succeeded you when you quit that band, or was she about the same time? Oh, no, there were several in between. In between? Oh, sure. After Helen Ward? After me, there was uh, Margaret McRae and Peg Lacentra and Martha Tilton and Helen Forrest and then Peggy. Lilton Martha Tilton. Lilton Martha Tilton, yes. Uh -huh. She's a delightful person. How I was you, very friendly with her. How do you feel about the way that Peggy Lee's career has gone through these years? Uh, well, she, she's fantastic. Really? Just fabulous. But she's one of the gals like Dinah Shore, who way, way back said, I'm going to make it, and determined to have a, a singing career. I never thought that way. You were never obsessed? No. No. But they sure did make it. All right. Do you get what sure uh, Helen is saying? If somebody yeah, is that yeah. obsessed and they're... Right? I agree with that. I agree with that. That you, you must really stick to your guns. It, you want to act. I think you must do that. That's it. It's you a know? dedication. Yes. Really. Like in an old Betty Davis movie, you got to be a little bit... Uh, Dedicated right. and obsessed, as you say. Got to uh, be... Benny is another one. Benny Goodman. Totally dedicated. I don't ever recall seeing him off the stage when he wasn't practicing. Mm -hmm. Really? That's how you get. May I ask you a question? Did you not care if you didn't sing? 
constantly? Uh, Is that what I you're saying? I do not care. Mm -hmm. it's, it's that I'm being honest about yeah. it. Yeah. I, I love music, don't get me wrong. You would mm -hmm. take it or leave it, though? Uh, because uh, the other side was uh, having children in a family life. Ah, okay. That appealed to me. I want to bring in a young filmmaker. She wants to put us all in her new movie. Her name is Nye Bonet, okay? Okay. Right. Chatting here with Marilyn Thompson. Do you want to mention any forthcoming appearances, Marilyn, or you just want to say that? Uh, no, no, basically. She's going to I... be here with me. Yes, I will. This is a fabulous entertainer. Our Amelia McQueen, who yes. just closed after two years or so with Ain't Misbehaving. And uh, now you say you go back to the coast to do the, that show eventually? Yes. Again. No, we're, we're leaving next week to open it in L.A. Right, for how San long? Francisco first for two months, San Diego for two weeks, and L.A. for four months. Well, you're booked solid, as they yes. say. That's yes. Yes. Going to miss anything about New York or your family? The or? pace. The pace of New York and, of course, my family, my father, my brothers. Um, but I kind of look forward to just kind of resting a little bit. I think L.A. kind of rest in between shows. What would you be doing if you hadn't gone into this field where I just asked uh, Helen Ward? Designing clothes. Designing clothes for, for the heavier women. Mm -hmm. And also teaching children. So, and I still do that on the side, so I'm pretty busy. You consider yourself a heavier woman? Sure. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Really? There's a whole new market for the bigger figure full of figure for the young teenagers and the middle uh, the late 20s early 20s and 30s and 40s yes there are a lot of big women in New York all over the country as a matter of fact and they need clothes what do you think Marilyn well I certainly agree with her being tiny myself there's a problem right so it's <laughs> the other end yeah mm -hmm. you have no troubles right Helen you got the costumes no, from no, the she's the fine middle. she's uh, fine medium <laughs> We're just getting rolling with Helen Ward, with uh, Armelia McQueen, with Marilyn Thompson. These words, and then a very hot young movie maker named Nye Bonet. Stay with me, ladies. Hello, Joe. I am chatting here, starting on the uh, other end over there with Miss Helen Ward. Who, Helen, where do you make your home? Where's your hometown? In uh, Virginia, really? in Falls Church, Virginia. It's uh, only about seven miles outside of uh, Washington, D.C. And it, it's very pretty down there. And uh, you sing locally for the community or for the church or whatever uh, it is? No, can't say that I do. Uh, when you're at a party, they tell you, they ask oh, you to sing yes, some old Benny Goodman song? Sing for my supper, sure. <laughs> do you mind? Do you object when they ask you? No, no, no. You love it's it? It's fun, sure. And it's fun to say that alongside Helen Ward is Miss Marilyn Thompson, of all those big groups. You, you never probably figured how many records you sold as a member of those oh, groups. Oh, no, no. In the millions. High, in that, the high millions? Yes, millions. Had to be, right? Yes, definitely. Because a lot of the Marvelette tunes were a million sellers. Opposite Miss uh, Thompson is the Squeeze Me Girl, the last original... Uh, Member, the last original female cast yeah, member of yeah. Amos Behaven. Yes. Ken Page is still there. He's the male member. You look so relaxed and so happy. I am. I'm very, aren't you? I'm, when I'm with you, I'm so <laughs> <Yeah>. at ease. <laughs> Got to get to see that place. But now you're not in there. I have no ambition to see it anymore. Oh, we can come to California and see it. I'll go out there to see come it. Come see my nightclub there. You can do that. Right. Is that a new club in the Hotel Edison? A new nightclub? Or is uh, it? Yes, I believe it is. Julie Wilson opened it uh, a month ago. And uh, Juanita Fleming, and now me. A young lady opposite you, three, who uh, was and is a household word. I used to see her picture in the New York Post three days a week. Her name is Nye Bonet, N-A-I-B-O-N-E-T, Nye Bonet. Nye! Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. A long time. You were then... Uh, a young belly I was uh, just starting out in belly dancing. Though. Right. I started in Las Vegas and I quit. I did it for about three years, and I've. It's been ten years since I've done it. They all make a profit you, because that's all they're interested yeah. in. America's is making money. newest, most glamorous movie producer is named Nye Bonet. Helen Ward, what goes through your mind listening to the saga of Nye Bonet? Well, I'm just a gog. I think it's fantastic, really. Uh, to have so 
had so much part in show business, and now you're sort of on the other end of it. It's just terrific. Well, uh, the reason why I went into it in this end was because I really believed in myself and because I'm so different looking. I'm so exotic looking. Where were you They're born? not writing for people like myself. Where were you born? I really don't want to go into the history of the 114th, where I was reading born. second <laughs> I'll tell you about Nyborn. She was born on this program. Those were great. Right. Good I'm being born right now. We'll be reborn. Reborn. We'll be in to see Nocturne, and when it opens, we'll announce where and when, right? Now. Yes. We'll be into Savannah Club at the Hotel Edison. Any place where you are, Marilyn, we'll go to see you. Uh, and for a lady who... So what do you sing in the current act to Helen? You sing some of the oldies? I yes, hope? I've picked some uh, marvelous uh, old favorites, uh, ones that haven't been beaten to death. No disco yet. Uh, no, no <laughs> disco yet, no. Uh -huh. We're going to be invited a few places by a couple of distinguished gentlemen, Mr. Earl Washington and Mr. John uh, Booker, but I want to say first that I'm proud of Night Bonet and... Uh, Thank you very much because I have every intention to stay in show business. I love the business and I will be producing other films as well as working for other producers now as an me, actress. Now tell me off the record now. Where were you born? <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> no. In New York City. You serious? <laughs> 114th Street, right? <laughs> Under the 3rd Avenue, down yeah, by the gas station. In Harlem. In Harlem. Wow, here I come. <laughs> That's, right. That's the truth. Amelia? Yes. We're going to join her act. We're going to make the Andrew sisters. We're going to be in her film. That's what we're going to do. That's for sure. I would love yeah. to have you because I tell you one thing. I saw your show and I loved it. I've seen Thank it you. twice because I had to take people from California. As a uh -huh. matter of fact, another producer who was involved in my film and we went over to see your show and loved every minute of Thank it. You. Thank so you. So if I ever have the opportunity and have something for you to do, believe me, I'll call well, you. Well, I thank you very much. Don't forget yes. Helen and Marilyn and me. I could do it. <laughs> But, you know well, you, you're always acting, Joe. I can say, ladies and gentlemen, let's watch these words closely. I'll be right back.